Yes, Gormahagot, uh, um, Gormahagot, uh, Town Caller. Minister, I wish you well in your new portfolio. And as has been said, Minister Creed in the last government just ignored everything agriculture, everything rural Ireland, the beef balance, no matter what it was. I wouldn't do But this is an effort here, although I feel the bill is feeble and a bit inept. And we put, many, uh, put down many amendments. And I want to thank Breen in our office uh, for uh, putting them together and to try and strengthen. I hope, Minister, that you won't, like the Senate, be rejecting all the amendments. They're well meant, and we understand rural Ireland. We're all from rural Ireland, and that being anti Dublin, we have no issue with Dublin people. And Deputy Crowe mentioned it that, um, you know, more plants and, and parks and everything else, but more than that, we'll be huge housing crisis. And I hear Deputy Mike Barrett every day uh, and everybody else concerned about that. But we haven't the timber now to roof the houses. We're importing it from Russia and other areas. It's, it's shocking. Uh, I'd like to salute uh, Maidite and Clan Mellon and Smart Ply and Waterford for the excellent skills they have, the employment they give, and the excellent use of finished product. They come on in, in leaps and bounds. And Pat Beardmore there, uh, the manager, manager there on the plant in, in, in Maidite, and, and give 300 jobs between them. But at the moment, um, Minister, uh, the whole situation is grinding to a halt. It's below its knees because of objections and because of... And the department have to take some responsibility, responsibility too because they haven't been dealing with him fast enough. But then the, the three hawkers I said yesterday took on a new role of objecting. Objecting and they're hundreds of miles away from some of the objections. I had no problem with a person, uh, whatever they're planning for a hen house or a George in building. You have to have planning process and you have to have a right of objection. No problem with that. Where you're materially affected with light or with roads or with anything else. But people, as I said, hundreds of miles away having the right to object and hold up uh, the progress is shocking. Farmers have planted forestry 50, 45 years ago as a pension scheme. Some of them got grants to do it. Some of them planted good land, which you say is a shame, but nonetheless they played their part and now it's ready for harvest and they're not being allowed to cut it and they've held up for two years. Uh, forestry contractors, some of them have two million worth of, engine, uh, of equipment. Encouraged to buy them because we're expecting to have uh, an output uh, far away than what we have. We're only a quarter of our output that we should be at. The hauliers then. The sawmills, of which there are many, and like to uh, salute uh, Sheehan's in Burncourt and the O'Grady's in Hollyford, and indeed Rohan sawmills in Tamil, named after the late uh, uh, Frank Rohan, uh, a freedom fighter, and indeed uh, ran now by Junior Pollard. There are many that I'm only mentioning a few. And the employment they give, and the source of, you know, joy they give, and this time of year people will be out on their Christmas, uh, you know, um, Santa cribs and everything else from them, and, 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 and uh, playhouses and you name it. It's supplying an urban market as well as a rural market. But this thing has gone into complete chaos. As I said, the last minister and his Fine Gael government, they forgot about, and supported by Fianna Fáil, uh, confidence about, forgot completely about rural Ireland. You think none of them lived in rural Ireland, and they abandoned rural Ireland across a whole plethora and successive governments for the last 15 years. But this is crisis. And we talk about the, the environment and indeed the, 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 the emissions and whatever else, and what a new planting can do. Because all these people that want to, to cut their harvest, harvest their crops, they will be getting in contractors very soon again to road, road their waste there and set and plant new. So they need to be, and, and they can be looked at different types of trees as well. And, but they can't cut them. So what other sector, section of society would put up, would not be allowed to have their harvest? We saw what happened with killings. They brought people in from abroad in the middle of the COVID to do their harvest. We saw the supports given different, different years for the harvest of the corn. If you don't have the harvest, the harvest is rich, the labours are few. If you don't have the harvest, I mean, we have nothing in an industry. So they have been denied all that. And I want to say that it's time that the serial objects, as I said, it's a 2.3 billion worth economy worth to, to Ireland. And most of that is in rural Ireland. And I've seen the forestry in fairness to them. They can make roads better than any county councils. And they have drainage systems that are impeccable. And they could teach the councils in a lot of cases uh, how to make the roads. So we need to, as I said, um, look after the jobs. Look after the farmers, look after the contractors. These are all people that put their investment in, in huge investments in machinery, in trucks, in the sawmills, upgrading their machinery, and they've been the final product for um, building houses and roofs. I'm doing a renovation myself at the moment, and the builder has great difficulty in getting timber. So how are we going to get the houses if we haven't this? So we have the cat before the horse. So I need honesty and integrity and openness in this new legislation, Minister. I also we need, we need a review mechanism after six months as to how it's working. This can't come fast enough. To allow these people breed, to allow some of them who have sick uh, uh, siblings or sick uh, husbands or wives and they want to pay their pension scheme. Remember, they're denied a fair deal also, the farming and business people. So we can't be kicked all the time because we need to be allowed to live and we will generate the work, employ people, generate the, 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 the conditions to work and uh, give a better economy and give a better employment to people as well also. Gormagot, uh, Thank you very much.